We've all heard the term waste not, want not, and today we're putting that into practice with my smoked brisket burgers. We're not just slapping smoked brisket on top of a burger, we're making our patties out of leftover brisket trimmings. Then we're gonna smoke them, top them with all the classic brisket sandwich accoutrements, and have one of the best burgers of your life. Are you ready? Let's do it. Before we jump into the recipe, I wanted to take a quick second and tell you about The Grill Squad. It is my online barbecue community and education platform. My whole goal is to help you make better barbecue so you can feed the people you love and become a backyard barbecue hero. All of that happens in The Grill Squad, so check it out at thegrillsquad.com. Now to the recipe. Oh. So if you've smoked briskets before, you know the trimming process often yields a lot of excess that occasionally gets tossed, but it doesn't have to be that way. I've showed you guys a video before for my homemade beef tallow where we save the fat on our brisket trimmings to render down and make beautiful tallow that we can use for potatoes or fries or smoking briskets or all of those delicious things. Today we're gonna use the brisket trimming. So when I'm trimming a brisket, I'll separate the fatty pieces that are great for tallow. I'll separate the meaty pieces that are gonna be great in these burgers and I add them to a freezer bag. And as I trim briskets periodically, I'll add the trimmings to the top until I have a sizable amount. This is probably about two to three pounds of brisket trimmings that I can then grind up form into delicious patties, and cook low and slow on the smoker. You get all of that super yummy smoked brisket flavor. You don't waste anything that you spent your hard-earned money on, and you end up with a really, really delicious sandwich. So let's get to grinding. So when I'm grinding, I use my KitchenAid and the meat grinder attachment. You can use whatever grinder you have at home. I've even seen people go at it with knives and cut their brisket down to pieces that are nice and sizable and good for burgers. We're gonna be pushing this through twice. The first time we're going through with the coarse grind plate. The second time we're gonna swap it out and go through with the fine grind on our grinder. Because brisket has a lot of tough connective tissue, this double grind will help us break it down to a place that's nice and tender and still has a really great texture. One more note. It is easier to grind meat that is really cold. So pull this out of the fridge right before you're about to grind, or you can even pop it in the freezer for about 30 minutes before you fire up the grinder and push it through. Our coarse grind is done, that means it's time for our second grind, so I'm just gonna take off the plate, change out our little grinding plate for the finer grind, and then push it through one more time. Now, if you wanna use this for something like a bolognese or a chili, the coarse grind is awesome. It breaks down really nice, it gives you those bigger, meatier pieces, but for burgers, I think one more pass through the fine grind is the way to go. Oh, also, I like to take off the blade in between occasionally and clear off any connective tissue or silver skin because sometimes that can, see, gum up your blade a little bit. This grind should go quite a bit faster. Our burger grind is done and it is beautiful. It even feels amazing. Now, I'm not usually a person to mix stuff in with my burger grind, I like the burgers to be just beefy, beautiful burgers. So I'm gonna form these into patties. I have eight buns, six buns. I'm gonna make as many patties as I want, but every time I make a patty, I wanna make it just about a half inch bigger than the size of my bun. They will shrink a little bit during the cooking process, so this will make sure you have great edge-to-edge -edge bun coverage with your patty. I just made them into balls to eyeball the size, and then I'm gonna use my hands to form them into fairly loose patties. I really don't wanna to do too much working here, so it's just gonna be a gentle pressing and shaping. All right, these 
brisket burgers are going low and slow on the smoker, 225 degrees. I'm seasoning them with my beef seasoning, which is what I use on my briskets. I'm gonna be using a mix of oak and cherry wood in the smoker, which is also what I use on my brisket. So we're gonna be mimicking a lot of the flavors that you would get in a traditional Texas style smoked brisket, but we're doing it in burger form. Beautiful. Patties are a go, let's season. Now at 225, patties this thick should take about an hour. Now FDA recommends you cook your ground meat to 165 degrees Fahrenheit for well done. I am gonna cook mine to 135, but I don't have to recommend that for you. For you, I recommend following the FDA recommendations. I live on the edge. I don't know what to tell you. Uh, it should take, like I said, 45 minutes to an hour. During the last few minutes, we're gonna lay some cheese on top so the cheese can melt, pick up some of that smoky flavor. And my favorite cheese for these brisket burgers is a sharp white cheddar. And while these are on the grill, we're gonna start assembling all of our toppings. Our brisket burgers have been on for about 45 minutes. Mine are hovering right about 130 to 135. I'm gonna flip them and add my extra sharp white cheddar cheese, close the lid, let them cook for about 10 minutes until that cheese melts. In the meantime, I've got all of my toppings ready for my burgers. I've got my super squishy buns, my Texas style barbecue sauce. This is my favorite sauce to eat alongside smoked brisket. It makes perfect sense on these brisket burgers, mayonnaise, pickled jalapenos, and red onions. But of course, you can top yours with whatever you like. Cheese was crumbly, but I'm not scared. It'll all melt together and be beautiful. Also. These burgers aren't getting seared. A lot of my smoked burgers, even my traditional smoked burger recipe does get seared at the end, but we're going for a specific thing here with texture. And that is a certain amount of softness in the bun and the meat itself. A lot of the crunch and texture is gonna come from those onions and the pickled jalapenos, and it'll give us a perfect balance of soft, melt in your mouth, crunchy and tangy, and it'll be delicious. Beautiful. Let's assemble our burgers. Construction here really is at your own preference, but I do like to start with a little bit of mayonnaise on the bottom. I think it acts as a great buffer layer between your meat and the bun. And then we just go crazy from there. Oh yeah. That is total bun to bun meat coverage. <laughs> jalapenos, and some Texas sauce. <laughs> we actually made these burgers a week or two ago to test for the website and for the app. And as soon as we made them, we knew instantly they had to be a video because they're so good and meat prices are so high and you have to be able to use everything you spent your money on. So you might as well do it in this kind of a way. You know what I'm saying? Oh my gosh, that is one of the best burger experiences I think you can have. Number one, you ground this meat yourself, which feels amazing. But number two, the flavor on a brisket grind is so beefy and so true and so delicious. The beef seasoning does nothing but make it taste beefier and better. And then all of the toppings, it's exactly what it's meant to be. That sharp cheddar and those pickled jalapenos cut through everything. So you just wanna take another bite, which is what I'm going to do. I hope you guys give this recipe a try at home. Save those brisket trimmings. Next time you smoke a brisket, I bet you won't be able to wait to make these brisket burgers. As always, you can find the recipe on heygrillhay.com or in our app. You can download it on the Google Play Store or the Apple App Store. And if you're not aware, we'd love to have you guys in the Grill Squad. It's our online membership platform where we get to share fun things. We even just did a burger month challenge Okay, I'm gonna eat this now and Todd's probably gonna come steal a bite in a minute too. We'll catch you guys next time.
Oh, you got all sorts of onion. We're gonna have to sanitize the camera. Hey! Whoa! Does it taste like a brisket sandwich? Yeah. Yep. Now we just gotta make five more. Ow. <laughs> Save the brisket trimming! Oh! I see what you did there. That was nice.